Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to VO Essentials. As today we're talking about something very important but very simple also, which is how to set up your Oculus Air Link so that you can stream your Oculus Quest 3. Where is it? It's uh, there it is. Let me just grab it. Your Oculus Quest 3 to your PC. Now we did a video yesterday or a couple of days ago testing out super hot versus Half-Life Alex. So if you haven't seen that video, do go and see it as I tested it with this computer here, the GeForce RTX 480 with the i7 14th gen. And right now I'm running the other PC, the RTX 2070 with the i7 9th gen. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe as I will be doing plenty of videos benchmarking those two computers and all that kind of stuff. So they'll be very, very cool. And yeah, smash the like so more people get to discover today's video. So without further ado, let's jump into VR. Let me show you how to do the installation. It's pretty easy, pretty comprehensive. All right, so the first thing we need to do is basically download the Oculus software onto our actual desktop computer. And do make sure that you have the minimum requirement of the computer, which if I was just to click on this link very quickly and just show you what those minimum requirements are, this includes a processor Intel i5-4590 or an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X or greater. For graphics card, CGPU table, so we'll look at that in a minute. Memory, at least 8GB of RAM. Operating system, Windows 10, Windows 11, and USB ports, one at least. Um, for the NVIDIA GPU, you need, uh, not currently supported for NVIDIA Titan Z, NVIDIA Titan X, it is supported. NVIDIA G GeForce, excuse me, GTX 9070, uh, 970 is also supported. Uh, NVIDIA GTX 1060 desktop 3GB is not. However, the 6GB is. And then uh, the NVIDIA 1070 or R, 1080R, uh, 1650 isn't. 1650 Super is. 1660 is also. 1660 Ti is also. Uh, RTX 2070s, all of them are okay, or the RTX 20 series, excuse me, RTX 30 series all can also, and RTX 40 series also every single one can. For AMD series 200 you cannot, 300 you cannot also, 400 it is supported, 500, 5000, 6000 uh, series, and also the AMD Vega series are also all supported, everybody. So that's for that. So all you have to do uh, to set up AirLink is basically, I mean, you can go to the link. I will put description below as well. Uh, just download the Oculus app software. So just click on this. And then basically it will automatically uh, download, as you can see here on the screen, uh, inside of the actual computer. So once it's downloaded, you just go to wherever it's, it is, run as administrator. And then normally the install should start. So let me just uh, close all these windows. There we go. So we can see the actual uh, get started. So of course, for me, it's not started yet. Uh, you can read, of course, the terms and conditions. So do read them. And then you can install now. So I'll install it in my C drive. Although uh, it could also be good to install it in your uh, NVMe drive if you have NVMe, uh, perhaps for faster uh, processing. It will depend on your machine though. So do leave a comment below if you try doing this before, if you're someone who you know, did this using Quest 2 and then you found you had issues, do leave some comments below so, you know, we can make the community aware of this. So install now. So there you go. So it's going to take about 2.12 gigabytes worth of space inside of your machine. Okay, so everything is installed. Now we just need to click next. And then the window closes and then comes back up. And then you have to set up your meta uh, account. If you don't have one, you can also log in with Facebook or with Instagram. So I'm going to continue with my Facebook. So it's going to automatically patch through to my Facebook. There we go. So log in. So continue as Lazius. Yes, that's right. Open. There we go. All right. And there we go. We're in. So now what I need to do is choose the appropriate headset. But as you can tell, there is no Quest 3 here at the moment, which is very, very unusual. Okay, so by quitting, it actually now, then when I went back in, I can see my Quest 3 now. So there we go, we press on continue. There we go, go to Airlink once more, click on 
continue. There we go. So once you see this pop up here on the screen, all you have to do is go to your settings, go to system, and then look for Quest Link here. And then you'll see, so you have to switch on this here, access PCVR apps with Air Link or a link cable here, and then launch Quest Link. So you just click on this, and then you will see it will try to um, find your PC that's available in the facility of your actual install. So you just click on the PC there, and then you click on pair. So make sure that this again is on, enable Air Link, will disable Link Cable. Okay, so you click on yes because you want Air Link, not the Link Cable. And then you click on pair. So now it gives you a number here inside of your VR headset. So if you just bring this, if I was just to bring it here, for example, there we go. And then you see the number is there. So you just double check that the number here for me is this number. And then you have that number there. And then you can take your mouse and then click on confirm on the screen. And then it says Airlink pairing, pairing code confirm, put on your headset to continue. So the great thing is that because we are in mixed reality, I can keep my headset on. So then you click on continue here. There we go. So again, it says connecting, but it says missing requirements, which is a bit strange. Again, before we click launch, make sure that this is uh, enabled again. So there we go. Let's click on launch. And now it says confirm boundary. So we can confirm the boundary or you can create a boundary. Now everything's gone dark, which is completely normal. And what will happen is that your Airlink menu is now up and running. So we're inside. The middle here is still trying to parse itself. Of course, we're a bit far from the router at the moment. And we're going to change rooms because I want to show you the quality of what things are like when you're right next to the router versus one when you're away about 10 meters with a door and a wall in between as well. So you have all the various different menu here. So I will go through the menu one by one uh, in a future video. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe. But basically what we need to do um, is we need to uh, activate. This is to, I believe, to go back. So if I click on this, oh, there we go. Sorry, it's not to go back, it's to change the actual settings. So you can change the settings uh, of your, your bit rate of what's actually going to be streaming. So for us, we're gonna bump it up all the way to 180. Uh, so bitrate applied, if everything looks okay, select keep changing, so we'll keep changes. And of course, I'm gonna go back next towards the actual router itself, as I mentioned. So you can quit and go back to your home here. So I was right. Uh, so now what we need to do basically is go to our Steam. We can also click on the plus to see exactly uh, we can actually choose a specific software that is already open. So we're going to close the Logitech so it can save some space inside of the actual computer in just a moment. So setup touch, we don't want to do this. Uh, if you see this on the screen, because this will set up the Oculus Rift stuff and you just don't want to be doing this. This is not something that you want to set up, to be honest with you. So this, no need to do it unless you have a Rift. So we just click that off. And then we're going to go down here or we can, yeah, I can access from here. So maybe just close this because we don't need it. And let me make sure it's closed. Okay, so we're going to use the mouse. And luckily you can see your thing. So let me just close this. There we go. Let me just close this as well. There we go. And uh, also let me close this. So we make sure that we have as much things, less things running as possible. And now we're going to run our Steam. So we're going to, Steam is already on. So what we need to do is we need to actually run our Steam VR. So let me just go to library. Of course, you can create a uh, Steam VR link on your, on your taskbar or something to make it easier. So let me just type Steam VR. There we go. And then we're gonna launch that first because it's better to launch the actual games from Steam VR itself. And I'm gonna show you something, a little trick uh, because you're going to see that we're going to try and run an app, but unfortunately the app is not going to load from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into let's see just a moment. There we go. Desktop. Sorry, not screen. So we're going to open the Oculus app first. So let me open it. So you want to go to the settings here. And the first thing you want to do is go to general. And for unknown sources, 
make sure that this is switched on because if it's not switched on, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to see the games. They're going to be considered to be unknown source inside of the actual uh, Oculus app. Um, so, or MetaQuest Airlink here where we are. Um, so make sure that this is enabled and not disabled. This is very, very, very important. Automatic updates, I would suggest to switch this off so that you don't get any bottlenecks or anything happening like that. Rift and touch safety, we don't need this. Uh, so we can, okay, never mind. I have to watch the video. Um, so yeah, so that's about it really. Uh, the beta, you can switch it on if you want, but do bear in mind that it might create some issues. Um, but there are some things you will require it. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe for future videos about that stuff. Um, and then here again, you can go to Quest 3 and then you can change some of the settings. So for example, uh, the input of the volume, the Quest 3 uh, headphones, the VR audio from computer. If you want to hear the audio both from the headset and also from the computer, so you can enable this. So if you do streaming, for example, it's quite useful. Or if you're playing with friends, it's quite useful as well. So they can hear what you're doing. Uh, and here, computer audio in VR, of course, we definitely want that. Uh, and then this tells you how much battery there is. So for me, there's about 40% left at the moment. So I do have to hurry so that I can actually start the games. It says that my computer doesn't meet the minimum specifications, which can lead to poor performance in VR. I think it's because I'm away from the router. I think that's why it thinks that. Or maybe it doesn't know that the 480 is something that's new. Not quite sure, but you know, it's more than enough for great experience in VR. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what's what. Uh, and then also you can change your payment system and all these things. Uh, and then, yeah, so open XR runtime. You can also set your Oculus as active uh, if you need to activate open XR for any specific uh, apps as well, just FYI. All right, so let's uh, let's get out of here. And you can also fix the bitrate, but it's generally not recommended. So, um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to exit and I'm gonna go inside of, uh, we're gonna go into Steam again. So let me just go to desktop and then let me minimize this. There we go. I'm going to go back into Steam and we're going to launch Steam VR once more. So it's loading Steam VR and now we're inside of Steam VR itself. So you can see I have three apps. We're going to test out Super Hot first. So uh, let me just uh, finish recording and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope you got something out of it. Do smash the likes if you did, of course, so more people can get to discover the VR Essentials YouTube channel and together 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 we can grow the youtube the vr essentials youtube community excuse me so yeah so plenty of videos coming very soon smash the notification bell after you subscribe for being notified about all these juicy videos coming very soon and of course yeah plenty plenty more coming thank you to all the devs for passing us tons of keys as we're going to be reviewing all the various different games mixed reality vr pc vr and uh, of course i'll be doing a video about the Oculus Link Cable, which will be coming to me very, very soon. This video, by the way, is sponsored by Zyber VR. Link in the description below. 15% discount using the promo code VR Essentials. They do a whole bunch of different things. In fact, they have a Link Cable, which they're sending me. They have the Elite Strap for the Quest 3. They also have uh, a Lini Strap coming with the actual battery pack at the back at the end of the month, I believe. So they'll be sending that to me as well. And they have a uh, uh, a charger that you put around your neck which seems pretty cool seems pretty interesting i'm going to be receiving it so i'm not quite sure how the products fare at this moment in time but if you're a dj and you want to just take a chance and go and look at the products well go ahead make the order 15 percent discount 15 15 percent discount using the promo code vr essentials link in the description below so you can go there and uh, enjoy that discount all right guys until next time See you later. Bye for now. Bye 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 bye.